hello everyone and welcome to this new youtube video uh, today we're going to create a digital clock it's really good for beginners and uh, i encourage you to follow the, uh, the full tutorial and uh, let's start uh, so first we need to create a g frame g frame g frame and let's call it frame it's easy just type in gframe, type the name, and then it, you can uh, type equals new gframe. And uh, you, you also need to make sure it's imported here. If it's not, you need to import it. You need to type this line of code right here. And uh, let's give it a title. Let's call it modern modern clock. Now let's set some parameters to this frame. So, like the bounds. So frame dot set bounds x and y in width and height. That's the bounds. Uh, let's set it ten and x ten y, and the width and height is going to be five hundred. Five hundred. Now let's set the uh, default close operation. And if you don't know what that is, it's just uh, you tell the you tell it what happened after the frame is closed. So we want the program to exit when the frame is closed so set default close operation g frame you need we need to call something from the g frame static variable just type in g frame dot and you will find this uh, this variable called exit on close that makes the program exits when the frame is closed now also we need to we need to call something else. We need to set something else. Uh, it's called set uh, end decorations. I think it's uh, undecorated. We need to set it to true, so the borders of the frame are not visible. We don't want them to be visible, so we can have like a modern clock, like a modern design. So now we need to create a G panel. G panel. And we need to, uh, let's just call it panel equals new G panel, and let's add it to the frame. Frame dot add add G add panel. Now we need to um, uh, let's set it uh, set the the frame to visible. Set visible equals Set visible true. That makes the uh, the frame show up when the program when we run when we run the program, the frame uh, is, is going to show up. Now we need to let's just try it out and see if it work out. As you can see, we have a plain frame here without no borders, just a frame, an empty frame. We need to fill it with a color. So let's go to this G panel line here, open two curly brackets next to it, like here, like this. And we need to call to create a function called uh, paint, which we will override it. If you don't know what override means, uh, you just type paint if you're on NetBeans uh, and click control plus space. And you just ch choose this paint function from this list right here. Uh, you just click uh, enter and this is going to create itself like this. Let's uh, remove this uh, to generate a text in the middle here. And now what we need, uh, what we write here, what we type here is going to uh, show up on the screen in the frame. So we have this G variable here, a graphics type variable, which have some functions that we can call and uh, we can draw things on the screen, draw image, draw oval, draw rect rectangle. This is, uh, this is uh, a short for rectangle and we can draw anything. We can also set the color, set color, but we're not going to use this G, uh, G, uh, G variable. We need to create a new one called graphics 2D. It's called graphics 2D. Yep, and let's call it G and let's change this one to G2. G2, and the reason why I, I'm using this graphics 2D is because uh, this graphics 2D gives um, a better uh, rendering to the text. 
so we want the, there's something called anti-aliasing which makes the text look better so when, when the anti-aliasing is on the text is uh, smoother and better and this graphics variable is gonna okay, let's assign let's set it to g2.create so when we draw something on this on the g variable it's gonna go to the g2 variable and we also need to cast this variable because they're not the same type graphics 2d graphics 2d and now let's fill the screen with a color so let's set the color first g dot set color and they have this really cool color it's like a purple color so new color the green value of this color is uh, 160 the green the red va value is 116 the green value is 0 and the blue va va value is 196 now let's uh, fill the color fill the color uh, fill the screen with the, the color the frame so g dot fill rect which is a uh, fill rectangle and we need to give it an x and y width and height uh, let's give it the same x and y width and height of the frame so we want to start from the position 0 0 and fill the whole frame which is 500 500 let's see what we got so as you can see we have a frame which is filled by this color now we need to start drawing things on that frame so we first we need to, uh, to draw the chime so let's create a new string called chime chime equals and uh, there's a there's a this variable called local chime which is static variable static chime class it's a local chime every function in this uh, in this class is uh, static so we don't have to create a new one and like give it a name and things so local time dot now this is th the current time we're getting the current time and then we need to get the things from this um, we need to get the you can you can see here you can get the hour the minute the second the nanosecond you can get uh, everything related to time from this variable so uh, we want the hour local time now to get, get hour and let's add a separator here it's uh, this character and uh, let's get the minute now local time dot get get minute dot now dot get the minute get minute now let's uh, set the font that we want to draw the string with so g dot set font new font and they have this really cool font that you want you want uh, you probably won't have on your windows you can download it it's called fira sense fira sense like this fira sense and let's set the style to zero which is plain if you want it to be bold you can set it to one but i want it to be plain so zero and the size is gonna let's set it to 100 maybe and 10 100 and 10 now let's see what we got uh, also we need to change the color of the text so they're not uh, they're not gonna be the same color dot uh, set color and let's set it to white now let's see what we got let's run it and see on file and we have nothing maybe we did uh, yeah, we didn't draw the string, so g dot draw string, draw string. So I'm gonna draw the uh, chime string. The x is gonna be uh, in the center. Want it to be in center. So there's a way to do this, and uh, we need to split the uh, width on two. We need to divide, divide the width by two, which will give us uh, 500 and Twenty hundred and fifty, and uh, we need to minus. We need to say minus the width of this 
of the string divided by 2 and to get the width of the string we need to use a function called uh, we need from the g variable g dot get font mat matrix and dot string width this one and this will give us the string width and we need to divide it by 2 so divide by 2 just divide it by 2 now uh, the y value value is constant so you can set it to anything let's say 150 maybe now let's see what we have okay as you can see it's draw it's uh, we draw the chime and it's not that smooth because we didn't uh, enable the anti-aliasing and to do that we need to set uh, set something to this g variable g dot set rendering hints this uh, this method is going to set the um, anti-aliasing on we're going to set the anti-aliasing on using this method so we need to call this thing called rendering hints rendering hints and uh, we need to call something static from it called key anti-aliasing and uh, we need to set a value to this uh, thing it's uh, you just call the same thing rendering hints dot value anti-aliasing on let's see it now it's supposed to be better smoother as you can see it's clearly better now we need to add the ch the uh, date, which is the month, day, and year. So to do that, we need to create a new string called uh, new string called date, and let's set it to local date. And we also forget something, which is uh, when we draw the hour, it. Uh, it draws that it doesn't draw two digits always so if the hour is one digit if the hour is one or two it's gonna draw us one digit and we want uh, to add a zero if it's one digit so there is two digits and to do that we need something uh, we need to call something called format from the string str from uh, the string variable string dot format and uh, the format is going to be you, don't, you need to type the following so it's this percentage uh, mark and followed by it zero two because we want two the two uh, digits so zero two d and uh, the, we need to give it this uh, this integer so let's give it this integer here and let's just copy this one and paste it and do the same to the minute so here we need to just paste this here and change this hour to minute just like this now it's gonna be the same let's not not gonna uh, try it out because it's gonna be the same the uh, time is two, digi digi two digits so uh, yeah and we can also see that by uh, creating an another thing called uh, which is the second if we would draw the second it's going to show up because the seconds are changing every second so get second now uh, we also need to update the uh, frame every second so we can see things changing so to do that we need to create a for an infinite loop which we will create right now while it's a while loop and you need to set this to true this will make it infinite and we want to draw the uh, we need to repaint the frame every time every second so let's say frame dot repaint and to make it uh, repaint every second we need to set some th something here which is uh, thread dot sleep sleep and you need to set this to 1000 because this is milliseconds so we want this program to stop for a thousand milliseconds which is one second so he's demanding us to throw this exception so we just do that and uh, as you can see everything is fine let's try it out okay so 
as you can see it's changing let's see it when uh, it hits uh, one digit it's gonna be zero followed by that digit so we are gonna have to wait like 40 seconds six seven eight nine and as you can see there's the zero here which makes it two digits now let's remove this second this uh, second digits we want to, we don't, I, don't, I don't want that you can keep it I don't want it to be in my uh, clock so I'm gonna just remove it and now we need to create the date so let's create a new string called date equals there's another uh, class called local date which is familiar to uh, the local time you can get the current date and local date you can get the local date uh, the current date and you can get the month year and day so now that uh, get we want to get the month first get month and uh, also we need to set uh, to turn this into a string to a string and uh, let's do a space between them between every two strings so plus space plus uh, local date dot now dot get day so we want to get the day of the month we want to get the day of the month and we also need to do the same thing so we want it to be the two digits so let's just copy this one put it here wait did a problem Control z okay now let's copy this string here this line of code right here only this part and let's paste it right here Control v and let's add the bracket I think yeah and let's add this one now let, let's uh, add the year so we add the space and then we add the year so plus local date dot now dot get year and now we need to draw this uh, date string uh, g dot draw string and uh, it's gonna be date and the x is gonna be similar to the uh, want it to be in center so let's just copy this one and change some things okay so we need to change this one to date date and I also need to change the font we don't want it to be as big as the chime so let's just change the font to change the font it's gonna be the same font it's just gonna be I'm gonna change the size so I think let's change it to maybe 40 and uh, the y value of this uh, thing is gonna be lower than the uh, the date is going to be lower than uh, the chime it's gonna be under the chime so we're gonna set it to let's just uh, maybe 200 let's see let's try it out and see okay as you can see it's kinda great but uh, I think it's too big a little bit too big and the, m the month is all uppercase it's all capitalized and we don't want that we want only the s uh, first letter to be uppercase we don't want the, the whole string to be uppercase so to do to fix that let's first fix the size so I want it to be maybe 35 let's try it okay maybe let's let's make the chime maybe a little bit bigger chime maybe 130 maybe just see okay I think this is kind of cool now let's uh, change the date the uh, month to to uh, let's change the, the month to be uh, only the first letter uppercase let's create a new string called let's call it month m let's call it m equals let's just copy this one get month dot to string let's just say m plus let's replace it with m now 
so it's like we did nothing but uh, here we're gonna say so the m is the month the string called m is the month uh, that we want to fix so month to fix it we need the only the first letter to be uh, uppercase so to get the first letter we need to use this function called sh char at which is like character at we want to get the character at this position which is uh, zero which is the first position in the uh, string and we want this to be uppercase so it's already uppercase so let's say plus m dot substring this is also another function or method that uh, will cut a string from the original str string we need to give it a begin index and an end index which is like two positions from two like from this string from this position to this position I want this string I want you to cut this string so this, uh, the begin index is going to be one which is the second character in the string and the l the end index is going to be the last one which is we can get it from by calling m dot length which is the length of the screen string so we want it to start from the f second character to the end and let's try this out okay it's kind of kind of yeah uh, we want this also to be lowercase, so this substring we want it to be lowercase, so it show lowercase, lowercase plus. Now let's try it and see. As you can see, it's working fine. You can see that uh, it's kind of modern clock. It's like a Windows 10 clock. I don't know. Uh, anyways, that's it for this video. See you in the next video.